Gaffer, in terms of uh, one moment in the game to separate the two sides, there's not a better moment than that, is there? No, no, just because um, I spoke to Charlie yesterday and I've been saying to him how pleased I've been with him and I'm just really, really so happy for him and the rest of the boys. I'm so happy for him personally to get it when it really mattered. Um, and I'm happy for the team and the squad, not the team, the squad, because... I was going in Thursday morning thinking, how do I pick these boys up? And in truth, I'll say it, they picked me up. The way they behaved the last couple of days, the group that we've got, um, their attitudes is, you know, Tuesday they were disappointed, I was disappointed, everyone was, but their attitudes Thursday was incredible. The way they've got themselves together, togetherness they showed, and, and, and ground out a real tough win to get today. It was hard today, but we, and we're so pleased with the three points. The first half, it sort of looked like a game of chess. Both teams were trying to do their uh, style of play but neither team could really break anything. Second half we looked uh, lo lo looked like we came out on the better side. Ha overall the performance, how happy was you? Look we knew what it was going to be. They, they, last year in the conference half they dominated every single game they had with possession because of the way their manager wants to play. We, we knew that. Um, we've seen that they've been dominating games with, with the ball as well and they pass it around really well but they don't want to shoot. Um, but we wanted to shoot today. We wanted to get into that final third. We felt we could counter against them. We had some moments that didn't quite go and um, we also felt that every single time we got a set play today we was going to score and um, overall they controlled the game with the ball but any time we got a set play, uh, you know, Phipps had a flying pass, there was another one from Kingy Backstick um, with Joshua and listen there was moments today, I'm so happy they had come in the uh, thing because we worked on it yesterday, we talked about it and um, yeah their hard work has led to it. I think it's the first time this season that that back five on paper might have been the one that you would have liked to start at Auction back in August. It's a, we've come away to have a clean sheet. How pleased were you with, Ed, with the back five? Yeah, listen, that, that's, that, that's the main thing, isn't it? A, a clean sheet. And listen, well, I was bitterly disappointed Tuesday night, but it's two wins out of the last three games. Listen, I know that wasn't enough because of the way we played on Tuesday evening. But um, yes, to have that back five in place, to be able to... not I didn't want to defend as a back five. I wanted the wing-backs to be aggressive against their wing-backs. I really did. Um, they sort of played boys on opposite sides, which you didn't expect them to play, so they were joining in in the midfield area. Um, and then the hard work in, in the midfield in front of that was really good. But yeah, look, Eastie, Phipsy and Jono, you know, experience, know their roles, know what they're doing. Els behind them whenever they needed it. Um, and it was tough on Aidan because he's a great kid. I really love him. I think he's got a brilliant future ahead of him at Luton. Um, the way he took the news about not playing today, the way Lingy reacted to it, just the way a person he is. The first time I've not played Lingy, the way he reacted to it was incredible. And Westy really, really wanted to play today because it was against his former team. And I was thinking about it later on. I just didn't know where the moment was to get him onto the pitch. But he was probably one of the nucleus on Thursday of getting the boys going because he's such a big character to them. So, um, yeah, look, collectively the back five, but the whole squad today was really good. Scenes at the end and 250 travelling fans come to support your team today. What a moment for them and what a moment for you to celebrate with them. Listen, that, was, that, that's, that moment, like you're saying, is for them. Did I expect there to be that turnout today? I should have expected it because they were incredible supporters. Um, did I not expect it in terms of because of how we did, played on Tuesday night and the disappointment they probably felt? Um, and then that's on me, really, because I shouldn't have no doubt whatsoever that they want us to do well. They want this football club to do well. They get incredibly frustrated, which I get, because I've been out there on the pitch for one of them and now I'm on the sideline for one of them. And um, the anger that they would have felt Tuesday night, I felt it with them. Um, but I'm the guy that has to wear that. I'm the person that has to accept that criticism because it was deserved. Um, but for that goal to go in at the end, for Charlie, the celebrations, all I was worried about that they were trying to take a quick centre. I've got to be honest, I didn't really celebrate. I was thinking, oh my God, they're going to take a quick centre. But um, yeah, L's running up. Um, and we've had some sucker punches late in games we have this season. So for us to get the one today, um, was really good for all of the fans, all of the fans and all the players there. And, and you know, and I think if some of the boys could have got there from the bench as well, they would have gone and celebrated as well and probably YouTube behind it as well.